afternoon, the feud between Houston firefighters and Mayor Sylvester Turner took another turn. We've reported on a previous dispute over a pay raise. Now the Houston Professional Firefighters Association says the latest issue stems from incidents when firefighters refused to shake the mayor's hand. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez has the latest development. Both incidents happened last week. This is a letter the Houston Professional Firefighters Association sent over to the mayor saying they would not tolerate the mayor initiating confrontations with its firefighters. The mayor does not and should not use his positions of power in which to intimidate firefighters. Marty Langton is the president of the Houston Professional Firefighters Association. He says a fire inspector was working security at a Rockets game last Thursday, and he refused to shake Mayor Turner's hand. And then chose to get very close to him and start yelling at him, telling him that uh, he is his boss and that he will respect me. Langton says members of the mayor's detail even took the firefighter's identification and wrote down his information. In a position of power, tried to intimidate uh, and then threaten that firefighter and said that he would personally make sure he would never work there again. Langton says Turner doesn't have the authority over the firefighter's job. He also says two days earlier, the mayor had an issue when another firefighter refused to shake his hand. On Friday, Langton sent Turner a letter saying, quote, we believe these confrontations violate state law. If they occur again, we will take appropriate action. The mayor hasn't responded directly to LinkedIn, but talked to our cameras this morning. If you are not professional and if you are disrespectful uh, as a city employee on duty uh, in uniform, then yes, I expect for you to be disciplined. LinkedIn says the mayor should have filed a complaint with the fire department and the fire chief so they could start a formal investigation. Reporting at City Hall, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.